Good morning, everyone. We are working on recovering our password for our Outlook account this morning. We're going to start by entering our username. So Jessica is our volunteer again, and she remembers her username, which is Jessica Marie Williams. What she doesn't remember is her password. So she's going to click forgot password. And initially, Microsoft wants to send a recovery email, but she doesn't remember the, the recovery email address she used. So instead she clicked in and it took us to this form here where it asks us for some information to see if we can't recover the account. So it starts with her Outlook email already pre-filled. It asks her for a recovery email and she has a Gmail account that she uses regularly. So she entered that information and now she's filling in the CAPTCHA information which is not case sensitive. Now that she's filled that in and hit next, it wants her to check her Gmail account and look for a code that they sent her. So she is going to log into Gmail. So it is helpful to have a second email account uh, to get into in cases like this. So we'll give her a second here to log in. Usually doesn't take very long unless someone is watching you. <laughs> um, now remember that Outlook is one of those email accounts that doesn't ask you for a phone number. So if you've watched the videos on how to recover your email password for uh, Yahoo or Gmail or AOL, you'll find that it didn't ask if you wanted to have information sent to a phone. And that's because Outlook doesn't ask for a phone number when you first sign up, so you won't see that option available to you. So it is kind of important to make sure that you do have a backup email address, either as a recovery email address or just something that you can send a security code to. Um, and it will give you the option, if you don't have another one, to create a second Outlook or Hotmail account to send that code to. So Jessica logged in, she grabbed that code, and she entered it, and it took us to this screen here. So now to get back into her account, Outlook wants just a little bit more information to verify who she is. So it's going to ask her some basic information, such as her name and her birthday. Um, and if you don't know the information, it says to guess to the best of your, your ability. Um, typically, what they want you to do is try to remember where you were when you set up your account. You know, what state you were in, what zip code, passwords you might have used for it. You know, what was your address? Was it Hotlook? Was it uh, Hotmail? Did you use it for Skype? Did you attach it to an Xbox? And then you enter as much information as you can, and they try to use that to verify that you're you. As you can see, Jessica didn't give them quite enough information. So she went back and she put in that she was in Washington when she registered the account. She still doesn't remember any of this information, so she tried again, and using just Washington didn't help her. So she's going to enter a zip code where she thinks she might have been when she created her account. And again, still doesn't remember a password. And nope, that didn't work for her either. So she's going to scroll through. This is all that she remembers. But she thinks she might remember a password. Um, so she's going to try and see if that works for her. And this is just maybe one that you've used recently or in the past or maybe one you've used routinely with another email account. Um, so what they're going to do is they're going to send an email to her within 24 hours to her Gmail account, letting her know if the information she provided works. Uh, as of this recording, we have not yet received that email. So we're going to try again and use a different option. So she's going to sign back in using her Outlook email. Click Next. Go to Forgot Password. And this time we're going to go ahead and she's going to have a, ver a code sent to her Jessica email at Yahoo to verify that uh, she is who she is. So what this wants you to do is it wants you to verify the full email. So you're going to need to know that full recovery email address that you put on your account. In this case, Jessica knows that it's her Yahoo account. So she's entered that as they requested. She's now going to go to mail.yahoo.com. She's going to sign in using her Yahoo account. So we will give her just a second to do that. And again, it's always a little nerve wracking when people are watching you do this. And she's opted to show her password this time so that she makes sure she's typing it correctly. 
because uh, it's always nerve wracking to have someone looking over your shoulder. As you can see, she had to go back and correct that. And we'll go ahead and sign in. And there in the first link is from Microsoft and it's a account password reset. It has that code in there and she is just gonna copy it. So she copied that. She is gonna go back to the sign in page. She's gonna enter that code. She's going to hit next. And now Microsoft is going to have her reset her password. Um, she's going to try to make it something easy to remember. So she's not going to make this password really difficult. And we'll see if Microsoft likes it. So she entered one that she knows she will never, ever, ever forget. She hits next and Microsoft says, eh, nope, that's not going to work for us. You have to make it stronger. So she's going to make it stronger. And we'll give her a second while she creates something. And unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't give us the option to show the password as we type it. So password's changed. She can go ahead and sign in. And it's going to make her go through the whole process all over again. So she'll once again enter her Microsoft Outlook information. And unlike the other email platforms, it does require that at outlook.com at the end. Instead of just her username, she will now enter the brand new password that she created. She will sign in. Now it's going to tell her all about different ways you can get in without using a password. It gives you the overview of your account. But we are now back in. If you click the little dots up in the corner, it would take you to your inbox. But in this case, we are just going to go ahead and... Oh, she decided to go back. There is the Outlook button. We are in our inbox in just a second here. And there we go. We have recovered our email and we are good to go. And thank you everyone. Have a great day.